Hold on, before we start. Oh yeah. Welcome. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video with me and Sebastian. So, we want to take it own, away? We need our own food networking We channel. really do, we really do. This view. It's just, we're so official. <laughs> um, today we have something a little special for you guys. Something that's gonna come in uh, handy for us during this month. Something also very delicious. We're gonna introduce you guys something that we've known. It's been a part of our life. It's a part of our culture and it's a very tasty, alcoholic beverage. Now you can also <laughs> skip the alcohol if you don't drink alcohol and it's still gonna taste very amazing, delicious. very refreshing, and it's uh, somewhat healthy for you. There's a lot of fruit. I mean, you can, yeah, yeah. And the squirt and the jarritos and the tequila, but it's bomb. And now guys. that summer is right around the corner, I know that times are weird right now, but summer is still around the corner. It is. And it's gonna be bomb. <laughs> Should we tell them? So today we're gonna teach you guys how to make Candaritos. These are some of our favorite drinks to have actually year round, but mainly in the summer when it's hot, especially when we go visit his family in Guadalajara. My family's from Guadalajara, so right next to Guadalajara, if you guys don't know, it's a city of tequila. Now, in the city of tequila, yes, you guessed it, is where tequila originated. And you get your tequila tasting too. Exactly. Right next door <laughs> to this magical place, there's this hidden pueblo called Amatitan. And in Amatitan, we'll put a video, they have the best cantaritos in the world. The best. I'm talking from a shot size to, to cantaritos. a gallon. That you, looks like you can fit a palm tree. This is the biggest one that we have, yes. but imagine this for a party of, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 people, yeah. gallons. I'm talking about one cantarito, they put two bottles of tequila. It's crazy. For probably a hundred bucks. And like 10 bottles of squirt. Yes. So many limes and grapefruits and oranges. Like, like the ingredients are amazing, but it's super easy to make. And so good. Yeah, so it's in uh, Amatitan, Jalisco. And like I said, it's just a really cool spot where everybody goes to either before or after they've been doing tequila tasting. Really cool spot, has food, music, and drinks. I mean, that's really the definition of life, isn't it? It's really, really bomb. The ingredients are pretty easy. If you mm -hmm. have tequila, squirt, and some fresh fruit on hand, you can do it. And these are actually items that you can find at your local super yes. supermarket. Um, but yeah, we want to teach you guys how to make it, and we're just going to have fun in today's video. It might be a little tipsy in a way, because we might have a shot in between. We don't really Oh, well, I didn't tell you, but we're going to have a shot before. Oh, okay. No. We're not getting on some, on some turn... IG live status. No. Not doing any of that, but we are gonna definitely have a shot to warm up and we cannot wait to make this drink. It is exactly. amazing and we hope you guys are excited. Um, if you're wondering what kind of tequila should we be using, um, normally right now, we didn't really want to go out because you know how things are kind of weird. We don't really want to go to the store right now. So we just had a bottle of tequila Coralejo. It's, it's good. This one's pretty good. It's not our favorite, but it's good enough for today's video. If you guys like Coralejo, like this video. But we prefer maybe like uh, Casamigos Blanco. I would do like a Blanco. This one is a Reposado, so it's gonna be... So, Blanco is white. The tequila, which has not been aged for more than three months, is usually clear and the purest flavor. Reposado is rested. The tequila is spent almost two months yeah. aging in the oak barrel. So that's the difference. Uh, so to me, Blanco, I think, just tastes a little better with this kind of drink. Now, will I have a shot of Blanco? Probably not, I really don't care for it. We'll have a shot of reposado or anejo, yeah. absolutely. So it's just different, I guess it depends on the drink, but because we're using all the fruits and the squirt and honey yeah. and all stuff, I want it to be a white tequila, so that's what we're so gonna do. let's <laughs> continue, let's do yeah. this. Actually, first, let's take a shot with la bota. You must be 21 or older to drink, let's just remember that guys. And drink responsibly. Drink responsibly. No drinking and driving, no drinking and texting. I, I found out soon on Apple they're going to have the option to unsend messages, so if you don't text and the option is available, go ahead and unsend it. <laughs> By the way guys, shout out to one of our supporters here on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Her name is Teresa Madrid, she is from Texas, and she actually sent yes. Sebastian and I these botas. So we've had botas for like a long time, but he actually put our old ones in the dishwasher and they fell apart completely. So we lost them after that and she actually sent us some with our names engraved on hers. She is seriously yeah. the homie. So Thanks, shout out to you, girl. We really appreciate it. We appreciate you so much. Cheers to you uh, guys. Cheers. I'm gonna have a side to squirt with it. Normally, you guys with my shots, if you know me, you know I like to have oranges. 
but I'm gonna skip on that today because I already know when to have an orange. I'm gonna pico and then I'm gonna want another one. So, um, if you want to pause this video, go ahead, go to the kitchen, grab a shot with us. We'll give you guys. We'll be waiting for you right here. Five seconds. Here, yeah. let them pause right here. You guys might be wondering, are we gonna make little cantaritos or a big cantarito? We're gonna make the big one. We're gonna make a big one, which is great if you are hosting a party or have friends coming over and you guys wanna have enough for... Jesus Christ. Okay. Here. I'm up. So we're actually gonna make it in the big one. If you don't want to drink the whole big one like me and Karen would. I would normally drink this by myself <laughs> with my own straw. Um, you can just take a little scooper or whatever and then you can just pour them into the little one. I mean, tonight is technically Friday night, right? Exactly. So since it's Friday, let's get into it. So first, you're going to want to have a large cantarito or a clay cup or any kind of large jar like this so you can place it in. I think it looks and it is more authentic than something like this, which you can find at your local supermarket mm -hmm. or in Mexico if you guys go visit. So a large one like this, the bigger the better. You know what I mean? The bigger is always <laughs> the best one. You're gonna wanna have three large naranjas. We like them big and squishy. I'm very like picky when I pick my fruit. Big and squishy. <laughs> they feel nice and like, they can't be too firm. I wanna make sure that there's enough juice out of this. Yes. Next you wanna have two, okay. Two. <laughs> She's faded already. No, okay guys, okay. I just realized that two shots get you intoxicated yeah, what are you, and you're already halfway there. What are you doing to you're me? You're halfway there. All right, go. Come okay. on, throw her, girl. Um, <laughs> next, you're gonna wanna have two <laughs> grapefruits. So this, I feel like we're not really great at measurements when it comes to this. I'm all about t taste, like, oh my God, I'm, I can't talk. I'm getting kind of No, you said you wanna get okay. two. <laughs> So you okay. want to grab two. No. <laughs> okay. All right, so shut up. I hate you. All right, next you're going to have, you're going to want to have net. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Get out again. Go to sleep. Go to Leave sleep. Me alone. Uh, next important ingredient to have is two grapefruits. Now, I just told Sebas, is it two, three, four? How many is it? I think it's all really about taste. Like, it's important for you to taste it while you're doing it. So we're gonna measure out right now too. We could add more if we want them, yeah. but just have two for now. Mm -hmm. Next major ingredient is major. lime. Major. Lots of lime. Lime is so key when it comes to drinks like this. Yeah. But here we have seven limes. We probably will add more, who knows. Again, all about how it tastes. Yeah. So we're gonna have this on the side for now. If we need more, we will grab more. I think for the size of our cantarito, I think seven to 10 is perfect. So next we have two options, one being jarritos and one being square. We're probably gonna need more than this because of yeah. the big one. Um, this is optional if you wanna add the jarritos grapefruit, which I think is so yeah, good. good. Like this is like really, really good. And then square technically is the, the same thing because it's a grapefruit soda. Yeah. I just kind of like both of them and we always have square on deck here at the house. So we have both of them. We're probably gonna use more because of the size of it, but um, you can use either one. We like both for yeah. flavor. It's all about flavor. So for now it's this, but we're probably gonna actually end up adding more. Yeah. Uh, but these is these. Why can't they talk? Okay. Because you're faded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where's my accent come from? <laughs> I don't know. All I know is you need two. <laughs> okay. So we have another jarritos and then another can of squirt, which I had a little bit because I needed a chaser. And then we also have a large jarritos. So we have this on the side just in case. Yeah. But. We got we got a lot of everything just because if you if you watch the videos from Weddles and if you've ever been there, they are like opening them up and putting gallons in depending on the size of cantarito that you get. Yeah. So we just rather be safe than sorry. Yo, there's there's cantaritos out there that are this big, and I kid you not, I've counted it before. They put 16 sodas, yeah. uh, 16 sodas de, de vidrio in there. So if you guys make this at home, like a big one, like or like, like a size like this or a little one, just have extra stuff just in case because. Yeah. People are gonna be like, oh my God, it's too limey or it's got too much orange. But there's not really a set measurement on how much you need of everything. So keep that in mind. Yeah. All right, 
next you need is your actual cantaritos. So these are actually from when we went to Kila Tasting. Um, I forget which. Really? Uh, yeah, I brought them home. I wrapped oh, them up shit. in a blanket for us, baby. So these are OG. These are OG. It's literally clay. Like, look at the difference in between this one right here. Do we? This, this one is sealed. Well, this one still has like the clay inside. So this one, sabe como tierra. You know when you put water in some of these, it tastes very like rich, earthy. Yeah, it tastes good though. Um, but I feel like when you muddle the fruit down there, that's what's going to take away that taste. It's really bombing these. So have these so people can have their own, but if you don't have these, it's totally okay. Yeah. But definitely pick these up if you guys ever see them or if you ever go tequila tasting, take them home. You can take them home actually. Um, next is going to be Tajin. We cannot miss tajin. Tajin is included in everything. You're gonna also need some salt. Salt is a must in this. Um, I don't know how much salt they put. I know they sprinkle it, yeah. but we're gonna have salt on here, so here you go. We don't have the sea salt, the one that's a little bit bigger and crunchier. That's that's recommended, but we just have salt. It's gonna work uh, perfectly, and it's gonna taste amazing mm -hmm. as well. Um, and then the number one key ingredient is going to be some tequila, mm -hmm. as I just told you guys. So we're using this one today, and uh, we probably will put the whole entire bottle in there, to be honest. And I can't stress it enough. If you don't drink, it's totally okay. Don't put tequila. It's still going to be bomb. It is. All right, guys. So the last final item I'm going to include in this is adding some rim paste. This one is from Lime Drop Bar. It's actually delicious. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is something that Sebas absolutely hates. He does not like having, <sighs> having any, like, chamoy or any kind of rim paste like this. Yeah. But personally, to me... I love to rim my cantaritos and my drinks, dip them in there so that I can lick them here and there. I don't know what it is. I just like having chamoy and this kind of paste stuff on me. So I'm going to make mine the way I like to make them and I'm gonna make his without that. If you don't like this stuff, you can also add the rim with lime and salt um, or just tajin. Personally, I'm gonna do this and tajin. So yes. that's it guys. So that's all you really need guys. It's a very, very, very refreshing tasting drink. It definitely is better than the typical margarita at like a bar. This yeah. is gonna take it up to another level. And from there, you're gonna start craving this more and more. Yeah. Um, and if you ever go to a bar, you want something kind of similar, you can always order a Paloma as well. But yeah. this is like next level shit. Next level. And uh, one thing that we actually for forgot is ice. We're gonna need lots of ice. Ice is a must. To make ice it is gonna refreshing. make it super refreshing and cold. <gasps> All right, so we're gonna start by just cutting off the lime in half. We're gonna be squeezing these inside of the big ass cantarito, so. While you do that, I'll start getting the ice. Go ahead. Wow, look at that beautiful spread of fruit. Looks so good. I'm gonna move this to the side and now use the cutting board for display. We gotta give Sebas a name with that sombrero on right now. Don Berga. Oh my god. <laughs> Is that enough? Probably a little bit more. Uh, no, I actually think that's pretty good. Yep. Yeah, okay. that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, next is gonna be the salt. Do you know how much goes in there? Do actually. <laughs> There's no measurements for this. This is like, like I've never seen somebody say this is how you have to no. make it. It's really just. When you do Mexican traditional stuff, it's puro ojo. I think that's pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, you can even put a little bit more honesty. Okay, good. Okay, that's good. We're gonna right there. Next, we go ahead and squeeze the lime. Ooh, that was a juicy one. Comment down below if you always have bins of lime at your house. We always here have lots of lime, lots of lemon. Lots of onion, lots of tomatoes, lots of hot dog, lots of coffee, and tequila. All right, Sebas, it's true. Pariente, <laughs> ¿cuántos quieres, mijo? Tu bueno. El mojito. You're drunk. No, We're I'm not. Shot. No, I'm no. I'm sour. You Why are me, you scared? You did me dirty. Go con fuerzas. Primero se me sale el pedo. I think we need more lemon, bro. All right, so I'm gonna squeeze a little bit more uh, limes in here. So, Sebas, editing Sebas. Cue the cumbia. Let's go. Woo! I think we need a little break. I <laughs> you, squeeze about you, you 15 should, You should take another limes. shot. This is what it is looking like inside. You can see the ice, the lime, um, the salt. So at Weddell's, because that's where we obviously are copying it from, um, 
they already have all of this like squeeze yeah. and they already have it like in two liter jars so they just pour in the juice should we do it like that and make it look nice and pretty no it's okay uh, i was just trying to use my nice little dip <laughs> i personally love to have the oranges and the grapefruit in yeah. here like some of, at least some in there i think it tastes so much better oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. when i can taste like the cascaras yeah. in there wow so now we're gonna put the troja grapefruit and the oranges you guys i am not a fan of toronja on its own but somehow in drinks it is just by far the most tastiest yeah. Tastiest fruit ever. Wait, I feel like. You want me to do it or are you good? You good? Ah! I want to get as much as the fruit as I possibly can in there. And if you guys want to squeeze all this out before you guys even start preparing and put it in a separate jar, that'll be smart yeah. too. We just didn't do that. It seems like it's a lot. That's because we're doing a huge cantaro. But yeah. if you just want to do one drink, like a small cantaro, you probably just need one toroja and one orange, exactly. and like maybe four limes, I would say, because the more limes, the better. I and promise. I was telling, I was telling Sebastian too that if you're gonna make this for yourself, like in one drink, I recommend even getting like a muddler. Like this tastes really good when you muddle your actual fruit in there. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you're like splashing us everywhere. I'm gonna spin it real quick. I'm also gonna taste it. Oh, that's so good. Oh it's God. the lime. The lime and the All salt. Right. Ooh. All right, Savas, cue the fucking cumbia. Finishing up the last one, and then oh, shit. we'll pour some soda in there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all up. Oh, that's so fucking good. Ugh. Now we're gonna go in with some esquerd. 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 Another can. And then I think that we actually need more soda for this because the cantaritos is kind of big. So we're going to do two more sodas of the carritos grapefruit. Oh, and then I want to pour how they pour it. Pour it up, Sebas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! I love yeah. it. And uh, now that that's all mixed up, looking amazing, it's time for the tequila. Yeah. Say it with me, guys. Tequila. Wait, two, two shots. shots. Of, two shots of vodka. Yeah. No, wait. Woohoo! More? Nah, I think we're good. I just poured half the bottle. Like I said, we made a lot. If you guys make this in your cantaritos, I recommend two to three shots in here. Oh yeah, we need a little bit more tequila. <laughs> and I poured half the bottle. There you go. If it was me and my boys right now, we'd pour the whole bottle. Alright, taste it now? Ah, shit. My favorite part is doing the taste test. Holy shit, that's bomb. Your bomb? Alright. Alright, so now that we... Okay, cut the video, I want to drink the whole thing. Hold on, let's go over. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have it made, I'm going to show you guys how I like to serve it up in my version. Since Sebas doesn't like any kind of rim paste or tahine, I do. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So you're going to grab the rim paste. Like I said, this one is from Lime Drop Bar. It's really good. I think it's like homemade as well. And I'm going to dip the whole thing in there and just spin it. Just spin it. Like me gusta un chingo. Oh. Oh, it's good. Oh, try it. It's actually delicious, babe. I'm not even lying to you. I put about that much on, which is, to me, a pretty good amount. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the middle. So I like, like I said, a pretty good amount. I'm also going to pinch a good amount and add it to the bottom. bottle. So here are the cantaritos. And now we are going to serve. So I'm going to add a grapefruit. And I'm going to add a tuna. Yes. Sebas. 
a naranja, grapefruit. Uh, do you, need, you need your own ice, huh? I would like some ice, yes. Hopefully you guys mm. followed exactly what we did so you guys can enjoy one with us right now. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. What the fuck? That's Ooh. so good. The a lot of tequila too. My God. That is so good. It literally tastes ridiculously good. 10 out of 10, babe. The pasas is both of us. Oh shit, I forgot I had a sombrero <laughs> on. So that is it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed Friday's upload. Cheers to the weekend. Have yourself a little cantarito and let us know what you guys think. And also, let us know if you guys make it this way if you already make it. Mm -hmm. Let us know down below if you actually like us being in the kitchen and making these tutorials. Mm. Why are we on quarantine, man? I want to go out. <laughs> to a club right now?